The Olympics are coming to a close, sadly. But the whole setup for me was watching Simone Biles rising on Netflix, which came out just before the Olympics opened. The reason I wanted to watch it too was when you told me all the issues around mental health right. that it address. Where the documentary starts is her pulling out of the Tokyo Olympics back in 2020. She had a bad case of what they called the twisties, which is when your head is telling you one thing and your body's telling you something else when you're performing uh, Anything, the Anything, I've experienced that. <laughs> and it can be very, very dangerous for a gymnast, especially someone at her level. Mm -hmm. And uh, she just sort of had a moment where she, she just she decided to back out of the midway through the Tokyo Olympics. We had talked about that on our own show back when it happened. And, and watching that now, four and a half years later or whatever it is, it hits me in a different way. You know, about how people were cruel to her and now knowing a little bit more of the backstory, I was like, wow, man. Like, give the girl a break. Uh, you know, we, all, her, we all struggle with I this I think kind even of stuff. her own coaches were kind of pushing her to push on. And it's, you know, mental health is so important. Of and course. The Critical best, in that field. Absolutely. Well, any field. And the best thing I liked about it is that there's a part where she phones her parents right. and tells them, listen, I think I'm going to pull out. Because they were unable to attend that Olympics, which also was very important. Mm -hmm. Because of COVID was going on. No spectators no family members, and because of that, I think that really affected her mental health as well as so many other athletes. So when she called her mom and said, listen, I think I'm gonna pull out, she, right away, there wasn't even a pause, it was whatever you need to do, we're 100% behind you. And I love the fact that she has that support from her family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was amazing to see. And the whole family story was really inspiring too, from where she had come, to where she ended up. And, and she's how, newly married now, yeah, too. Yeah, I know, I know. And that, that guy's so cool, man. Yeah, so Jonathan Owens plays for the NFL, and they met on, like, an online dating service. And mm -hmm. when they first met, he claims he didn't know who she was. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and they actually, it was a fast romance, and it was something good that had come out of, she had gone through a lot of tragedy there. Mm hmm after pulling out from the Olympics, not doing any gymnastics for a while, just trying to get, um, you know, into therapy and, and trying to sort out her mental issues. And at least she had the presence of mind and actually the maturity would be the word to know that she had to do that kind of thing. I, I need solitude. I'm an introvert, for example. I sometimes almost feel guilty for not spending more time with people. But then I think if I don't take this time for myself, I can't be there for people when I'm no, with them any, anyway. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So I, for me, that was, uh, well, if we want to talk about our take on it, that was one of my takes is how well they emphasize certain themes, community being one of them, and how critical that is to mental health, having a support system around you, and knowing that you have people you can go and talk to, because we all struggle with it. And whether it's athletics or like even our business too, if we come in, think about trying to do a radio show if you got something bad going on in your life. Oh, or doing it's, a podcast it's hard and, to kind of put anything aside. And focus and just be in a good mood. Or you Meanwhile, know I mean? try to perform at the Olympics. Right. Like she did. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. I really liked about the documentary as well is that Simone Biles is so relatable and so down to earth. Imagine the pressure she puts on herself because when she did that misstep that they show on the vault at uh -huh. the Tokyo Olympics, she does a misstep and they go, well, uh, uh, wow, she doesn't do that. And she's <laughs> like, I'm human, guys. Yes, I can do that. <laughs> yes, we all make mistakes. Even Simone Biles does. And you can get back on the horse or the pummel horse mm -hmm. is the case of E. And she had to start at the basics again, literally from the basics mm -hmm. to get back to where she is now, which is currently in 2024 was her best ever. She had three golds and a silver. Right. And previously, 2016, I think it was three golds and a bronze. And what you were talking about, too, about the commentators criticizing her, a couple of things. I mean, it's a reflection of society, first of all, because I think we project what we want our best to be on people like her. Athletes or celebrities like musicians in our field. We're always told when we first get into media, or I remember this, maybe you do too, if you listen back to your self or you watch yourself and she does the same simone would do the same watching her athletic competitions you're your own worst critic so whatever the commentators are saying about you you're doing it 10 times worse to yourself absolutely you know and and she admitted that i think at one point in there but it, it's a common it's a common theme mental health is something that starts with the family it starts it starts with yourself but it starts with the community too and it starts then with society and the pressures it puts on people. The whole message is great. Now, it's only, they've only released 
two parts. It, it's four episodes. It's two parts. They've mm -hmm. only re released the first part. So I'm really excited. Now they're going to follow her through this Olympics. Right. Um, so this will, it will continue on and they're going to release that. Netflix said sometime in the fall. So between September and December, keep an eye out for that. I love how they did the documentary and I say for me, it's 100% stream it. The way they combine the mental health with the, with the athletics and the pressure at that level. And then you can see how society plays into it too. It was just well meshed. It was good. And whatever you do in life, we've all come across obstacles and we've all wanted to turn back and it's okay to turn back and mm -hmm. take time. And I think she did it with uh, grace and dignity and it was so impressive to see. 100% say stream it too. I'll also say, because I've been told the same thing and working on some of the same stuff in my own life, which is why this hit me so hard, this documentary. But you are good enough, okay? Absolutely. Because uh, if you, you can also watch a documentary like this and say, well, sure, it's great. She came back. She's a champion now. She's living on top of the world. She got an NFL boyfriend, all this stuff. But what about me? You know, what can I do with my life? You're good enough. Yeah. That's the message. Even if she never went back to another Olympics again, she was good enough. It, of course. You and know? we all are. Exactly. That's the point. So just remember that today. Stream it. Simone Biles. Rising. <laughs> yeah, now Simone Biles on rising. Netflix. <laughs>